Yo, what's up? Bringing you that MLB Dodge Show 17. So we just completed the All-Star program for Ryan Sandberg. The last thing we got were the Ryan Sandberg stats from June 17, 1982. So with that, you get 1,000 XP and 100 stubs. Let's go into the program and see the rewards and missions once again. So for this program, the rewards were a program pack, some XP and tickets, another program pack, a rookie legend Ryan Sandberg card, some more XP stubs and tickets, two more program packs, and this 99 overall all-star legend Ryan Sandberg. So it looks like it could be a pretty good card. We're going to check out the stats for both of these, but let's take a look at the missions that we had to complete. So first we have the All-Star hitting and that's to match Ryan Sandberg's 1990 statistics with All-Star Series hitters. So there's plenty of hitters out there right now to fill up your whole lineup. So that should be easy to do. But the statistics you needed were 675 plate appearances, 116 runs, 188 hits, 3 triples, 40 home runs, 100 RBIs, and 25 stolen bases. So I actually did everything before I got the 675 plate appearances, pretty much up to the last game. So what I did was first I played at the Polo Grounds. If you don't have the Polo Grounds, you can play at Forbes Field, and I got my three triples. Once I got my three triples, I played at Chai Park to get the home runs, and I pretty much played there for the remainder of my games to get the 40 home runs, the hits, the RBIs, the runs. We got a lot done at that stadium. I think it's one of the smallest stadiums, if not the smallest stadium in the game, so it's definitely a good one to go for, especially to get the home runs. I was playing on rookie difficulty to make it easier, but that's because I already did all the team epics where you had to play each team three times on veteran. If you're doing team epics, I would just stay playing on veteran so you can get multiple things done while doing these programs. But for this all-star hitting, Shy Park is definitely a good park to do to get this done faster. Next, we have the September 15, 1990 stat line, and that's the tally. Three hits, two home runs, four RBIs, and one walk with Chicago Cubs hitters. I also did this in Shy Park, but what I did was stack my whole team up with Chicago Cubs players. I actually did this after I finished the all-star hitting mission, but for this one, we had the full team, played it at Shy Park, and it actually took me a couple games because I was playing on rookie difficulty and it's harder to get walks on rookie difficulty. So if you're playing on veteran or a higher difficulty, it's going to be a little easier. But overall, it's not that difficult, especially if you fill up your team with Chicago Cubs players. The hardest thing will be to get the walk. Next, we have the June 17, 1982 stat line, and that's the tally. Three hits, one run, one double, and one RBI with the rookie legend Ryan Sandberg. So this actually took me a few games because I either got the three hits and not the double or the double and not three hits. The run and RBI were never an issue, but it did take a few games to finally get this done. A tip for this is to prolong the game, extend the game by going into extra innings to give Sandberg some extra at-bats. Play as many innings as you need, but I'm assuming most people will have trouble in getting the double. I played this one at Fenway Park because in left field, they have the green monster. So if you can hit it off the wall, you can pretty much guarantee yourself a double. And if you hit it into right field, there's a good gap, especially if it rides the wall all the way around. You know what I'm saying? So Fenway Park's a good one. You can also do it at the polo grounds if you can hit it into center field, which she doesn't really have that kind of power, I don't think, to get that good of a hit. Or Forbes Field is also a good one. Next, we had a tally 30 doubles with second baseman. So for this one, I had a second baseman literally everywhere. Everywhere in the infield, including catcher and in the outfield. So for this one, their primary position has to be second base. And then you can play them in their secondary position. So for catcher, I just picked someone that had good fielding. I think I had Robinson Cano, which might have not been the best option. But that's what I did. So I used Forbes Field to get the doubles. That's another classic stadium. And it's pretty good to get doubles. The walls are pretty deep. So if you can hit it past the outfielder, it's normally going to go to the wall and get yourself an easy double. So before stacking my team up with second basements, I only had four doubles after grinding all the all-star hitting. So it took me, I think, five to seven games to get the other 26 doubles with a stack team. I know I had a few games where I had eight and seven doubles, so those were pretty good. But then I also had some games where I only got like three doubles in them. So Forbes Field, probably the best one to do. Then you needed to collect 20 All-Star Series players. So right now there's plenty of All-Star Series players out there. 
I had this done as the program dropped, so I didn't really have to go out into the market to get all-star players, so I don't know how this affected the market for all-star players, but all-star prices are pretty low right now because there's so many all-star packs out there which dropped all the prices, but you can get some in the ticket store, and then after you get those from the ticket store, I would go to the market and pick up the remaining ones. And then the last thing we got is to exchange live series second baseman. So for this one, the exchange rate is 99,000. That's a big mark right there. But what I did was get 79 rated bronze players that were second baseman and bought them for around 90 to 100 stubs. I don't know if that's what they're going for right now, but when I did it, they were going for around 90 to 100 stubs. So it's going to be around like 60 players that you have to pick up and it's going to cost around 6,000 stubs, but you are getting a 99 overall player. Like I said with the King Felix program, don't do buy now orders, do your own sell orders and get the players that you want for the price that you want. It's going to take longer to get the players, but you're also going to save more stubs by doing that. But that is it for the missions. Now we have these two program packs to open. Hopefully we can get ourselves a diamond in one of these. Let's see what we get. In the first one, we're going to get a bronze, a common, and two more bronze players. So once again, nothing good. In the next one, we're going to get ourselves another common and three more bronze players. So these program packs have not been good for us. Now looking at this Rotten Sandberg, this is the rookie series from 1982. He has 60 contact versus righties, 85 versus lefties, 34 power versus righties, and 32 versus lefties, 84 vision, 80 fielding, 76 arm strength, 79 reaction, and 84 speed. So this is why it's hard to get these doubles because his hitting stats aren't that good. His contact versus righties is pretty poor. If you can get him up against a lefty with that 85 contact and 84 vision, it's going to make it easier. But other than doing the mission for the program, I don't see myself using this card again. Then we have the 99 overall Ryan Sandberg all-star version from 1990. He has 97 contact versus righties, 55 versus lefties, 97 power versus righties, and 77 versus lefties, 87 vision, 86 fielding, 75 arm strength, 76 reaction, and 69 speed. So his contact and power versus righties are very good, and with that vision, he's going to be solid versus righties. But the big thing about this card are his numbers versus lefties. The 55 contact is pretty low. The 77 power is okay, especially since there's good vision in 87. That kind of makes it a little bit better than what it is. But the contact is pretty low, and it's a 99 overall player. The rating, I think, is inflated because he is a second baseman, and second basemans are rated higher than any other position. Like, they're the easiest to get to diamond. Like, if you look at your created player, he's going to be rated highest at second base before any other position unless you're doing starting pitching but second baseman normally has the highest ratings his fielding is fine for a second baseman and his speed it's okay he got slow in eight years i don't know how he got so slow he was at 83 84 whatever it was but versus righties it definitely looks like it will be a good card i don't think i can say it's the must have second baseman even though it's a 99 overall let me know what you guys think but there it is. We got the all-star program done for Ryan Sandberg. Let me know how you guys are doing on this program so far. And if you plan on getting him, I always say you should do all the programs just to get the percentages done in the Dynasty program. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I'm out.